If you teach computer science and you're not sure how to get started with AI in the classroom, this is how you can use a micro bit and create AI to start making machine learning models that you can train based off of your own movements. To get started with our Create AI project, you will need at least one micro bit. You will need a micro USB cable to connect that micro bit to the computer, and you will need some sort of power source. So in our case, we are going to use the Charge for Micro Bit. This is a rechargeable power pack that we can attach our micro bit onto. It's also really handy for this project in particular because it has a built-in wrist strap, which will allow us to strap that micro bit to our wrist when we perform our different actions. You can use the battery box that comes included with the Go Pack, but you will need to figure out a wrist strap or some way to securely mount it onto your wrist so when you're doing your actions you always want them to be the same we will start by connecting our micro bit to our charge source here like so once that is in place we're going to come over here to create ai and we're going to hit get started we are going to start a new session today and as you can see here, nothing is connected at the moment. So what we will wanna do is hit connect here at the bottom, which will prompt us with the steps to follow to pair our micro bit and get it set up for the Create AI program. So we will take our micro USB cable and we will plug it into the computer and then we will plug it in to the top of the micro bit. We will hit next, cable is plugged in, next again. We will follow the prompts to select the micro bit that we would like to pair, hit connect. This is now going to download a program that will allow us to communicate with the Create AI software. So give it a second to download. Once that program is finished downloading, we can now disconnect the micro bit from the computer. So you can take that cable right out. At this point, I am also going to attach the charge onto my wrist like so. So now my charge is on my wrist, we will hit next. I'm gonna make sure that the pattern shown on my computer here matches the LEDs on the micro bit itself, which it does, so we will hit next. And now this is where we are going to wirelessly Bluetooth connect to the computer so my micro bit can communicate with the Create AI program in real time. So we'll hit next. We will find the micro bit signal here and we will hit pair. It is going to connect using web Bluetooth and now we are live connected. So now any action that I make on my micro bit, so changing the accelerometer value, so the X, Y, Z value, we will see that change happen in the bottom of my screen. Now you are set up and you're ready to start creating your different actions and then training your model. So the first thing that you will wanna decide is what actions we want to do. I like to start with some simple ones just to make sure we understand what's happening and our model is working. So our first action that we will input here is called waving. And you can use this drop down if you'd like to change the symbol that will be shown when that action is happening. It can be whatever you want, but it's helpful to be able to see that symbol here so you know what action it's picking up. So we'll just leave this as this action for now. Now what we need to do is record at least three samples of my action happening. You want at least three because you want a good sample set for your model to be able to learn off of. The more samples that you have, the more it will have to learn from and the more accurate the machine learning model will be, but make sure you record at least three. So we're gonna get ready to do our actions. We're gonna press record. It's gonna give us a countdown and then we're gonna wave. That's one done. We will do another. Three, two, one, wave. And another one, three, two, one, wave. Perfect, okay, so now you can see here on the screen, I have three samples. They do all look slightly different, which is good. If you were doing um, maybe a different type of action, you might wanna record more than three, but we're gonna start with three and see how our model does. Now you can add on different actions. So we did waving. Let's add one called thumbs up and let's make it a smiley face for thumbs up. So I'm gonna start with my hand in a resting position here. We're gonna hit record. So three, two, one, and then we're gonna go thumbs up and down. We'll try that again. Three, two, one, thumbs up and down. And again, three, two, one, thumbs up and thumbs down. Okay, I'm gonna, since those ones do look like they're a little bit varied, I'm gonna record a few more samples in this one just to be sure. Thumbs up and down. And again. Thumbs up and down. Okay, 
Now let's add a third action. And again, remember you want these actions to be distinct, otherwise your program might have a hard time recognizing the difference. So for our last one, we're gonna do jazz hands. And let's pick this simple. So we will get ready to record our session, jazz hands, and record a second sample, jazz hands, and the last one here, perfect. Okay, so now that I have three actions and I have at least three samples per action, we are ready to train our model. And training our model means that the computer is gonna look at all of the data from each one of those actions and then be able to recognize what one's happening when I go to test my model. So we're gonna hit train going to look at all the different samples that we just recorded. Okay, perfect. So my machine model has finished training and now what we're seeing on the interface here is the percent of certainty for each action. So when I start to perform these actions, we're going to see that percentage change and either go green or gray depending on which specific action the model thinks is happening. So if I start with waving, We'll see here that it's going up almost to 100% certainty that it recognizes that particular action. We will try the thumbs up and down, thumbs up and down. We see it's recognizing that action. And last one, jazz hands. We see that it's recognizing that action. Perfect, okay, so that means our machine model is now trained. That is part one, is creating your different actions and training your model. In part two, we will go over how to take these inputs, which are these code blocks that you see on the right side of the screen here, and use those inputs to trigger different things within our make code program. So now that you have a trained model, you can start to use that trained model to create all sorts of coding projects.